Kanye Omari West, rapper, poet, songwriter, record producer, fashion designer, influencer, billionaire, son, father, and expressionist. Now, is he talking crazy talk or are we serious about refusing to listen? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dudes and dudettes, the sexy and the not so sexy big children and little. I am the novelist, author, poet, Lamont Anthony Wright, a.k.a. Graffiti Blue. Welcome to the Let's Think This Through podcast. The episodes of the series will no longer have numbers, for it is my assessment that every episode in of itself is a piece of art and thus should be given a title instead. So the title of this episode is A Second Look at Mr. West. Let's travel back in time, shall we? One might assume that this trip down memory lane might make reference to some of the earlier versions of Mr. West's celebrity. There is Rockefeller Kanye, pre-Kardashian Kanye, and my favorite, Slum Village Kanye. There are many versions that were dope leading up to today's present version. When people see you going through a difficult time, they often think of you when times were not so difficult for you. It seems like human nature is to compare your greatest pain with your greatest joy. So I can understand how some would assume that. However, those who would assume such a thing are wrong. This trip down memory lane will take us to the quote of someone who knows him. The date is February 12th, 2006. The place is a TV show called Inside the Actor's Studio, hosted by James Lipton. The guest is comedian Dave Chappelle. During this show, Chappelle said many profound statements. One in particular stood out to me while he and James Lipton chopped it up in front of young, eager actors in training. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, Chappelle rants. It's dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. People are not crazy. They're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick, Chappelle finishes. Flash forward to the present day, and let's apply that statement to his friend Kanye. Have we called Kanye crazy? Yeah. Are we being dismissive? Absolutely. Are we listening? Of course we are. However, just because we listen doesn't mean we truly hear what's being said. Also with that, just because the messenger is crazy, doesn't mean that the message itself does not have value. So here is how this podcast is going to approach this. We will put what we think we know against what we don't know. What we think we know comes from a combination of listed facts from sources we trust, public perception, and our personal perception. So what we collectively think we know might be things like, Mr. West is a narcissist. Mr. West is out of control. Mr. West is an egomaniac. Mr. West seems to have been greatly affected by the loss of his mother. Mr. West is anti-Semitic. And Mr. West is saying inflammatory statements simply for the press and promo. What we don't know are his true motives. And that is really the bottom line, in my opinion. Every provocative statement I have heard him say over the past few months had an interesting argument that went with it. For me, it is all about the dialogue, no matter how reckless, messy, 
insane or tactical a statement may be, the quality of conversation it generates afterwards is what matters to me. What questions are we asking now that we did not really ask before? Like, does the art that is being financed in hip hop music truly represent the black creators of hip hop culture? Hmm. If not, why could prominent celebrities be corporate puppets? It was certainly rude of Mr. West to imply that some of his own one time friends that at one time provided him opportunity. But what if it's true? If Jesus had said, I see the God in the heart of Adolf Hitler, would we argue with him? What exactly are the limits of mankind's wickedness? Are there any limits? Could a people that were once so horrifically oppressed not have empathy for a people who are oppressed through cultural appropriation and misrepresentation? Is Ye a genius level savior who will have to martyr himself in order to save us? Or is he a psychopathic artist looking for acceptance from those who never invited him in? So what we think we know is on the table and what we don't know is certainly on the table too. What I do know is this. Minister Louis Farrakhan made a remark on one of Kanye's many statements and stated that he understood what Mr. West was saying. Mr. West, of course, publicly stated that Minister Farrakhan's statements he took as a slight. Slight or not, it is my feeling that people need allies. Whether you're planning to conquer the world or conquer a white picket fence. So putting all of your allies under a thundercloud of suspicion every time a microphone and a camera are in your face might not work out to be a winning strategy for you, Mr. West. In closing, I will say this. Don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to this channel to get more content like this, but also know something else from a quote that Jordan Peterson said, actually said about Adolf Hitler himself. I'm paraphrasing, but Jordan Peterson says something to, to the effect of, if you wanna know what somebody is up to, look at the results of what it is they're doing. Case in point, with Adolf Hitler, it did not really seem like he wanted to win the war because he took many resources that he could have gave, given to his to his soldiers in the form of supplies, bullets, food, things of that nature. And he was taking all of these resources and putting it into the prisoners of war that he had, which were the Jews. So instead of putting them to work to build bombs, bullets, and, and make food, for the soldiers, you've got all of this free labor was Jordan Peterson's point. You got all of this free labor, but you're not investing and in, you're not taking your most valuable resource and putting it into the war. You're taking all of your resources, trying to exterminate, exterminate your resource. So when you look at the results of what Adolf Hitler did, it didn't, it seemed less like he was trying to win the war and more like he was trying to create the most destruction that one man could cause. Let's flip this back on Kanye. What are you doing, Mr. West? Are you trying to save us? I would love to be saved, but it seems like there are some flaws in your plan. It seems like what you are doing because the results are such, are you just creating a lot of calamity, a lot of excitement and all of that stuff. I'm not saying it's the right way. I'm not saying it's the wrong way. We have yet to determine that. But one thing is sure is we are certainly more confused <laughs> about what it is you're actually doing than we have clarity for. And I guess 
time will tell, uh, really. So that's it for me. He's probably saying something right now that will make this whole blog seem <laughs> dated because this, this story is moving so fast. But until next time, folks, take care of yourselves. Thank you for tuning in.